I'm in Barnes & Noble right now, and they only had one table of Christmas books. And I did pick this one up by Josie Silver. I've read two books by her. I really liked them. And all the other ones I wasn't really that interested in. But Harry, Harry, Larry just posted a video where she was like, these are books that you should read. So I'm gonna really quick look at the thumbnail and see if I can find any of the books in the romance section. Literally look, it's in my box. Okay, let me see. She has one by Lauren Asher, I think that just came out. And I think that one could be fun. Also maybe The Grump Christmas by Kingsley. So Kingsley and then Asher. Let's look. pointed out this book and it does have a buy one get one half off which that is my goal is to look for this so I'm gonna keep this in consideration it says Rachel Rubenstein Goldblatt is a nice Jewish girl with a shameful secret she loves Christmas that's the first sentence that actually sounds really good she was gonna get it because it was Jewish no <laughs> do not say that <laughs> I'm not I didn't realize it was a holiday book it's got the... That was the only thing. I thought it was a... I, I don't know what I thought. I mm -hmm. didn't think it was a holiday book, which is mm -hmm. what we're looking for. But Lennon quickly corrected me, and I read the back, because and it is. I love the Jewish people. <laughs> and Aubrey doesn't? That's what it seems like. No, absolutely not. Anyway, this is probably a good contender. I'm going to look around a little bit more. I did see this one over here called... In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I love these authors. Did you did you know their names are Christina and Lauren? Oh, so it's two people? It's two people. Oh, I didn't Isn't know. Isn't that cool? All the books that I've read by them have been dual point of view, and each one takes a point of view, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't really like the sound of it. Also, I looked it up on Goodreads, and it didn't have the best ratings, so... I'm not, I'm not thinking that one will do. But anyway, I'm going to look around and see. Ooh, I want this book. It's not holiday, though, so it looks really good. Anyway, I'm going to look around a little bit. rated it five stars and then haven't read any of the other books. to go ahead and end off the video because the last clip I'm pretty sure I was just in Barnes and Noble but as I, I don't even know if I started off this video but as you can see I went holiday book shopping I only went to Barnes and Noble because I did do a little bit of holiday shopping which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the holiday books I plan on reading this year this this holiday season um I will have like my December TBR that you guys have already seen and then I will have like a holiday reading vlog. So like you guys are going to see these books a lot but I do want to show you the books that I got um, and the books I'm planning on reading this holiday season. So let's do a little haul. So let's start with the order that I got these books. So the first book I have that I am planning on reading this year is A December to Remember by Jenny Bayless. I've actually read The Twelve Dates of Christmas and Meet Me Under the Mistletoe, which are both books that are listed on here. But this one is about half-sisters who, 
I think they're, I think they're estranged and their father dies and then they're like, it's a story of them coming together. I'm pretty sure. Um, I really don't know all that much, but I thought it sounded good and I did enjoy both of these books by her. They're not like my all time favorite holiday books, but they're good enough to where when I saw this, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, and the reason I just didn't read this last year, I ran out of time by the end of December and I was like, I'm not going to read this in a month. That's not December. Like, you know, but anyway, so yeah, I, this is the first book that I got. And then a few weeks ago when I was at Barnes and Noble, I went ahead and picked up the new Emily Stone winter book. She is like, I will say this every single winter. She is my favorite holiday romance author ever because her books transcend just being like a cutie, cutesy, cutesy? Go further than just like a cute holiday romance. They in involve deep emotions, deep struggles that you really have to like sit and grapple with because it's such real life things. And so I honestly, I'm trying to think of what my favorite one by her is it might be love holly that one was really good that honestly might have been the one that came out last year i can't remember i think this is going to be my fourth book from her um because i read always in december love holly let me just look her up on goodreads really fast because she's so good always in december one last gift love holly and then this year we have a winter wish so this one um, is about a girl whose father has passed away and um, he leaves her half of his holiday travel company and so she just kind of has to figure that out because the other half is left to this guy whose name is Theo. That's a cute name. Theo and Lexi. And so this is obviously probably going to be talking about father grief um, or the loss of a parent. Um, but it seems like her and her father maybe weren't close. And so she I'm sure she's processing that. But I just really like I really like this author. First, they're usually set in England. Is this set in England? I'm sure it is, but usually they're set in either England or like a European country. And I just love that. I love I love that idea so much. Love that idea. I love the vibe of that is what I mean. Um but anyway. I hope she continues releasing them because they I always get super excited to pick one of these up but yeah um and then like last week or so I bought the Christmas tree farm I feel like the series has kind of got popular on the interwebs on TikTok on YouTube because this is the Dream Harbor um like small town romance series inspired by Gilmore Girls. I actually just finished the second book of this I think last night and they're like a solid four star small town romances super fun um and I'm super excited about this one. I'm ready for all the fall vibes. It seems that it's going to kind of be like a grumpy a grumpy little romance which I'm looking forward to um, and it's set on a Christmas tree farm like are you kidding me I'm so excited the only thing about reading this book is once I read this the next series the next book in this series doesn't come out until March and then after that I think it comes out in August or September so that means I have to wait for more of these which I'm I'm really upset about but whatever um and then anyway the two books that i got while i was um vlogging today is the first one i picked up was a winter new york by josie silver this is another author that i read stuff from before i read um one day in december wait did i say one day in december for emily stone if i did i meant always in december i read one day in december and then that one was fine. The one I really liked by her was The Two Lives of Lydia Bird. That one was like a five stars, made me so emotional. And so I know I do like this author a lot. It looks like she has one other book that I haven't read. It's called One Night on the Island. But anyway, this is called A Winter in New York. And it is about Iris who moves to the New York, who moves to the New York who moves to the Big Apple. And while she's there, she runs into this like family. This is like, by the way, I'm summarizing this. I could be totally wrong. This is from like my memory of reading this yesterday. 
Um, she moves to New York and she comes across this gelato restaurant and they're having troubles because the recipe is with, I think the uncle or the dad, his uncle, um, is recuperating from a stroke and can no longer remember it. But for some reason, her gelato recipe that she knows is the same one. And so it's like, she's following, she's falling in love with this guy, in love with this guy named Gio, who's secret like family recipe somehow she knows and it's like they're trying to figure out why her uncle or his uncle would have given it to her mom so I, I feel like there's going to be some sort of like betrayal even though it's like just miscommunication but whatever um but they look really cute on the cover and I thought this was really fun and I'm like it was a buy one get one half off which is always nice at Barnes um and then here's one that I actually I've I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't know if it's new this year or not, but this is by Jean Meltzer, who I've never read anything from. It's called The Matzo Ball, and so this is about a Jewish girl who secretly loves Christmas, and she writes Christmas romance novels, but her book deal or her agency is like, hey, you need to write a Hanukkah romance. And so her inspiration runs dry, and so she comes across um, her camp arch enemy Jacob Greenberg and they um, haven't seen each other since they're kids and their grudges still hold high but I, I'm assuming he is showing her Hanukkah and she starts to find an appreciation for it which I feel like I really haven't read all that much like Jewish related literature so I'm really interested to see um like and learn more about Hanukkah honestly um and just like Jewish culture but Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this and I'm like, I wonder if we'll get to see like kind of the novels that she writes, even though she's Jewish, but like she loves Christmas. But anyway, these are the five books that are either new this year. I mean, all of them are new except one, but these are my like holiday TBR books. I go, I, again, I know you saw my December TBR and these books were all in it, which I and very very sorry about but it's book miss you know there's gonna be a few repeats um and of course that video had more tbr on it so if you guys want to get like my full extended tbr you guys should still watch that video but anyway i'm pretty excited honestly i think the first one i'm gonna start is it's gonna have to be the christmas tree farm because i literally like this week i've read the, the first two books so i'm just so excited for these characters um but honestly all of these seem like super good um yeah thanks so much for watching like i said it's book miss i think today is I, who am i kidding i don't even know it's like book miss four or five i can't remember um i like have it all scheduled out but i don't some things might move just like my camera is right now anyway i'm gonna go i'm going to start this book and i will talk to you guys very soon in the next video Peace and love. Bye, guys. Be reading.